Hey, I want to share our column hover effect, which I absolutely love using um, and I've done many videos on it, but I want to just show it off again. Now over here, we have three very basic columns. They've all got a background image in the column. So it's not an image, it's the background of the column, right? What I'm going to do is if you hover over this column, so column one, column two, column three, when you hover over column one, uh, a, a text appears or it could be an image. It's almost like a hot spot effect, but it's not a hot spot because you could have loads and loads of stuff appear. Let me explain that, okay? So I'm gonna drop into here a image like that. Let's just pretend that's an image. And I, well, I, I just said, let's pretend it's an image. It is an image. How can we pretend it's an image? Key thing is we're gonna give this a class name, okay? And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna call it lion. You would probably call it something different. I don't know, but I'm just going to call it lion. Okay. Now, obviously with your margins, you could do top, bottom, left, right. You could move it around and do lots of funky stuff there. But what we're going to do instead is I'm going to go to absolute and I'm just going to move it to be say, maybe something like that. Okay. And you will notice that it looks like it's gone completely wrong there. Cause it looks like it's adjusted the height. Don't be fooled by that. Cause it actually is fine. Okay. So just double check what you're seeing. I'm going to use absolute and in fact, I'm going to make a point in, I'm just going to put it in over somewhere like that. Okay. So it's overlapping the items that has the class name. Remember? Okay. Let's click back onto that image. There it is. Lion. Okay. That's called lion. Now we go back to column one and in advance in the custom CSS, we're going to drop in a little bit of code here. You'll notice I've got div height 300. That's because I didn't want to drop spaces into these columns. I wanted to make all of them be a fixed height of 300 pixels. Let's just drop this code in here. Now, instantly the image right before your eyes disappeared. Did you see that? Because what it is now saying is selector for that column, okay, because it's on that column. If you want to give the column a class name, be my guest, go ahead with it. This is saying dot lion, because the image is lion, the opacity is zero. The opacity is zero. So from the get go, that image is a zero. It's not there. But when you hover over selector, which is the column, when you hover over the selector, the lion dot lion is opacity one. So let me now just do this. Sorry, I did it before you could see it. We have no image. Oh, look, there's the image. Does that make sense? So you could literally have like a hover. You could literally say, see more. You could have like a, a product. And when someone hovers over the product, loads more details pop out and you are not limited to just images. You can add in whatever you want. I mean, let's just go over here and uh, let's just do a video. So I've dropped in a video there into column one again. Um, I'm just going to go to advanced. I'm going to go to uh, the position, set it as an absolute. And I'm going to move this and just put it, let's say, let's just put the video in over here, right? Let's just put the video in there. Okay, so the video will appear there. Let's now give this a class name and call this lion as well. Let me now just do that. You don't see the items. Oh, look, they're now appearing. So you could have loads and loads of items appearing with this simple, simple, so simple code, right? And you could do it for column two, column three. You just put in, uh, give them a, a class name or whatever, and then drop and modify the code in. Um, but if you're going to have five items appear simultaneously, just give them all the same class name. I've called it Lion just so you understand where it is in this code bit. Oh, sorry, column two, we're on the wrong column there. Column two, there we go, look at the code, right? Look how easy and simple that code is there. It's, it's, it's beautiful, right? If you're gonna have two items or three items and you definitely wanna have different class names, all you would do is just basically copy that, go underneath, and let's say we called it um, uh, snake, right? And then you would just do the same over here as well. It's, it's as simple as that. Because you might want to have a different transition effect. So let's make this one be, um, let's go with 1.5. And let me just go to the video, which is over here. And let's make that one be a snake like that. Okay, look, the video came later. So you could have timed effects coming in as well. I hope you enjoy using it because I think it's a, it's a nice little feature and you're just using a tiny bit of CSS code. 
I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.